Our next instrument is bevel gauge. To measure angle, bevel gauge is used. This is first instrument, bevel gauge. Now that instrument we have with us. According to our job, this angle will be adjusted. Lock it. It has got two strips. This is one, this another. That strip by losing this nut, you can adjust forward, backward as well as in any direction. So in this way, according to job, you can adjust this strip. Once you get the proper dimension over here, lock it and transfer it on the bevel on the protractor and check the angle. So in this way, to use bevel gauge, we need protractor to measure uh, angles. Second instrument is universal bevel gauge. Where it is difficult to use bevel gauge, universal bevel gauge is used. It has got three strips. One, this is second, this blue one is third. This blue strip reciprocate on this white strip. Its angle also can be changed. So, where bevel gauge is not used, you can use universal bevel gauge. The job whose angle we want to measure should be kept between this blue strip and green strip. Again, after getting that angle, you will have to transfer on protractor and check the angle. In this way, universal bevel gauge is used. Third is bevel protractor. For bevel protractor, there is no need of using separate protractor. It includes protractor in that. Now here, you can see degree measurements over here as our protractor is. From 0 to 180, all the graduations, degree graduations are measured over here. Up to 1 degree, we can get proper angle with the help of this. Here we got one needle. This is base. Between needle and base, we we'll have to keep our jaw. This is our jaw. And we want to measure this angle. So, between base and needle, we we'll have to keep it. And then needle shows whatever the degree is, whatever the dimension of angle is. So, in this way, we will protract the research. So, to measure angle, we got three instruments, bevel gauge, universal bevel gauge and bevel protractor.